Hamilton. So that's like a small town to try to get them to start thinking differently about food. So that's exciting. And then the other thing that's exciting is um, I think uh, uh, putting this into an iPod application, the whole swap it, so people could actually be in a supermarket and looking at Michelina's frozen foods and going, which one's better? It doesn't always spell it out. I mean, people don't know what they're looking for with nutrition labels. So, I mean, there's a lot of exciting things that, that I, I, I get passionate about in terms of food and, and having people come into GLOW and say, this was a great meal and I don't feel I ate diet food is, is the key. People who lose weight on personal gourmet, that's our fresh food delivery. So between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning, we have a little truck drive up to your home, drop off three meals and two snacks that you would never know are lighter, lower calorie, and have people, everybody on the program loses weight. They're not like on a, a poon type of diet. We give you protein, we give you the right carbs, we give you brownies for dessert, and they're losing weight. That's exciting. So is that a diet program? Or no, is it well, more it's, like, it's both. Know, it's whatever both. you want it to be. So we, we have a lot of celebrities on the program that just say, I don't get the time to cook. Yeah, that's great. I just need healthy living. I don't want to lose weight, maintain my weight. So we calculate their BMI. We end up giving them a certain amount of calories. Somebody calls in and says, I need to lose 20 pounds. We give them a certain amount of calories. And we judge it like that. And how convenient too! It's all there, and you it's just all there, and it's pretty. No thinking, no measuring. Pretty. Now, yeah. Rose, I gotta ask you though, yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah. you know, uh, people who are struggling with weight issues, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, some people they just no matter what they do, they can't seem to lose weight. Other right. people can eat almost mm -hmm. anything, and yeah. they never gain weight. Right. And is there a like? Have you figured out a formula that works for everybody, or do you have to treat? Each one is Everybody each one is different, and the people that will tell you that you know they've always tried and they can't lose weight. If I worked with them, they'd lose weight. The people that can eat till tomorrow and not gain weight, they're just lucky. They there are people that burn so quickly their their metabolism, and there are people that burn slower. But when somebody comes to me and says, "I can't lose weight. I have the slowest metabolism." I agree they probably do have a slow metabolism, but I could get them to lose weight without without depriving them. They're not being that honest to themselves, and they're not looking specifically at what they are putting in their mouth or their activity level. So anybody we take in that says, I have the slowest metabolism, we check it. We do a test for the metabolism. They're right. It is slow. doesn't mean you can't lose weight. You still can lose weight. You have to up your activity. You have to eat more often. You have to eat the right combination of foods. But the people that can eat anything, I wish for one week in my life I could live like that. <laughs> I'd love yeah, to be absolutely. able to live like that. Okay, so we got the swap. It is the new big thing. Yeah. You, you just came from uh, yeah, City, City Line, Line. about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, and you have the food bites on 680 News. Oh, right, yeah. So I record, um, I've been working with 680 for about a year and a half now, and I record two uh, segments a week. I usually go in and I write about 22 segments and try to record 11 weeks solid, so I don't have to go in again. And I, it's all like what's new in food. So it's not old school. It's anything new. I get a million newsletters every day to my email, so I just research things in 45 seconds, come out and give people the newest thing of what's happening in food. When do you have find time to sleep? Oh, <laughs> sleep is a cherished thing. You go to bed around 10.30, I'm a real party pooper like that. And Friday nights, I'll go to bed at sometimes 9.30 or 10 and sleep till 7. The best sleep in my, my that's life. That's the long, that's when you sleep in, till 7 on till, Saturday, yeah, that's Saturday a, right? Yeah, but that's 10 hours. That's like a gift. Then I'm pretty good for about three, four days after How about that. party nights? When you got to go out there and, yeah, and you Saturday, know. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, like, I'll go out there and my husband will start seeing me start, like, at 11 p.m., start nodding off and he'll go, wake up. I don't, like, sleep in tomorrow. And so, you know, party nights, like, I, I can't make it past midnight, though, anywhere. Because my clock now sort of gets me up no matter what. Eat so the at 4.30, latest. that's pretty early. No. Yeah, so the alarm goes off then. 4.30, and I work, so I actually clean up emails, write all my, like I write for three newspapers, so I write all my articles at that time, clear up all the emails for two solid hours, then hit the gym. 6.30 religiously hit the gym. Wow. Then I have two German Shepherds, and I love my hairy <laughs> kids, so I walk them at 7.30. But by 8.30, I've done a lot, and I'm ready for my day, so it's a great, it's a great cycle and schedule for and me. And then what time, I'm, I'm, what time do you finish work then? At the day. Well, I'm just trying to get a sense of your yeah, whole day here. Well, you know, now that my four kids are older, remember, they've all moved out, so life is a lot more open. So <laughs> I'll walk back in the house today probably by 5, 6. Tonight I'm ordering sushi, and my kids are coming to the house, and we're all having sushi tonight. And then I'll do maybe one more hour at night. That's it, because at night I'm already really starting to spiral, like mm -hmm. get sleepy. And then my husband and I will watch something on TV or, you know. And you're in bed by 10. 
I'm just 10, 10, 30. Okay. Like last night, quarter yeah. to 11, yeah. Oh, treat yeah, yourself. That was, yeah. That's, so, um, does what, that work? What, Would that work for you or not? Well, I'm just thinking that's only five and a half hours of sleep. Yeah, it's not yeah. enough, right? right? I know. Well, I don't know. But you know what? There's articles saying like lack of sleep leads to obesity, lack of sleep. Yes. There's a lot of that. But then there was an article just written last week. I forget which newspaper. And it said they do, there are specific people, and I guess I'm one of them, where five to six hours just works mm -hmm. and it works for you know, me like i have a lot of energy the same way there you go they're very and, high and, functioning right a lot of people i know who do try to do what i'm doing now in lack of sleep can't function and they don't have the energy to work out and they don't so if you're one of those people you need more sleep you know is there anything you haven't done that you want to do Oh boy. Oh, isn't that? I mean, I really want to grow the business. I mean, my whole food delivery. We just bought an existing company that went went down here in Toronto. We just bought an existing company. So we added another 100 people onto our delivery at night, which is phenomenal. I, I, I'm wanting to develop now, and I, I have developed it, a frozen uh, dinner and lunch plan, which sells for much cheaper than the whole fresh plan that we're now going to start marketing across Canada. So that's my, and that's going to be a weight loss program only. So we're going to tell people breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, frozen, we'll ship across the country, 20 bucks for three meals, two snacks, you can lose weight by this. And it's not going to be like what you see in the frozen section of the supermarket. It's going to be much better. So we have that now. We're just launching the promotion for June. Wow. And how has all this impact your catering business? Like when you go to cater corporate functions, mm -hmm. which you also do big corporate events, right. what kind of menus are the corporations now are asking you to provide uh, to make sure that that the employees are eating Yeah, rice. well, th that's how at first we knocked on doors when we opened our catering company. And today we have 400 corporate clients. <laughs> and when I knocked on their door and said, look, your bottom line's affected by how healthy your employees are. And they know it. Like, how much are you paying for, you know, medical benefits and prescription drugs? And how many sick days do people who are not well, who have chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, obesity, how much time do they take off? So they, they bought it. They bought into it. We delivered the food. We said we're price competitive. And I think they get it. And now they start slowly give us, giving us events, which is great. Now, every one of us was hit in the recession. We all, you know, corporations just all of a sudden put it on hold and got the cheapest food they could in the path downtown Toronto. But it's coming back now, which is great. Um, and what advice do you have to other entrepreneurs? Um, I don't know. Maybe you weren't really intending to be this yeah. mega giant well. that you are and have accomplished everything that you have. But now that you've done it, what advice do you have to others who are tackling, you know, their yeah. own business? Well, people, so many people I know want to be entrepreneurs. First of all, make sure your idea works. So, you know, I had somebody come and try to sell me this vegan, you know, type of goat ice cream. I don't know what it was. And it was something that she was so in love with, but she couldn't see outside that this was not going to be a huge national product. If you want to be big, you got to really look at the audience. You got to look at Newfoundland. You got to look at Alberta. You got to look at everybody if you want it to be national. Be realistic about what your product is. Even how much you love it, you have to let other people tell you it's great. And then you really just work really hard for, for a long time. And it's an uphill battle. But if you believe in what you do and other people like it, I believe it will come. It will come. And then you never sit back. It's always somebody else is around the corner who can look at your idea and try to copy it. You got to just stay on top of your idea and make sure the quality, quality in my business anyway, is number one. I'm always back in the kitchen looking, and sure enough, every day there's a little something that slipped. It's like, nah, guys, we got to always. So it's, you're always on, on people to make sure it's that kind of quality that you want. I agree. Yeah. Well, I know you told me you had to be out by quarter to one, uh. so we're going to keep you on your schedule. Thank you. It's great. And, uh, yeah, it's do you have great. any last questions? Well, I, I'm, it's just great to, uh, to meet you and actually Thank have you. this conversation and get some of your insights yeah. about all this stuff. And uh, I just want to say uh, all the best in everything. Thank and, you. Uh, and uh, look forward to uh, checking out the Glow Restaurant sometime. Excellent. Please do. Come up. Let me know. And yeah. do you want to mention your website as well? Sure. Anybody want to come on my website? All the swap at every radio thing I do for 680, all the posts, everything's up there. It's uh, easy, www.rosereisman.com. And I want to re-mention your giveaway today, which is your right. Family Secrets Cookbook, your new one. Family Favorites, right. This one right here. Family yeah. Favorites, sorry, Got Cookbook. It. And that's worth $40 to the first caller in at 416 204 
9723. Yeah, we look forward to hearing from you to get this great, that's a great cookbook. Thank you. And, you know, if you love to cook and you want yeah. healthy food for your, you and your family, yeah. this is the book you need. So call in. Covers all bases. Yeah. Thank and you. And you don't guys. even have to think that it's healthy. It's just good for It's food, right? right. You got it. That's what we have to start go. thinking like that. Okay. Nutritious and delicious. Thank you. Okay. Thanks Pleasure. for being Thank here. You. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jeanette. We're going to take a little break, right? Jeanette, yes, and, and we're going to come back with the magnetic marketing yes, moment. Is that right? Yes. We're going to find out all about you and your. Mm, yes. And then we're going to have March Ingle after. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be great. Okay, okay great. Let's take Thanks. A break. Stay with us. Be right back.